Okay, so when the, the first trailer released for Sonic Boom, way back in, uh, you know, 2014, a land of uh, memes, of course, I remember it very, very vividly. Because it was a point when I didn't have internet at the time. I don't remember exactly how I learned of it, of the trailer being there. Maybe I just saw it on the homepage of YouTube or something. I doubt that. But I remember hooking up my phone to my computer to use the internet on it. And I watched it in 240p or what it's, you know, whatever it's called. And at the time, when I saw it, I was like, okay, is this, like open world multiplayer shenanigans and I was like damn it man it's what I always wanted in a Sonic game and of course the reaction of everyone else because you know change is bad it's like oh my god the designs are so bad oh look at look at nipples the enchilada mixed in with memes of course at the time it was like you know I, I see what they're going for you know Nathan Drake more adventurous and um it was by a new developer big red button composed of ex naughty dog people so at the time i was thinking that this was going to be it the big one the big enchilada that the, the big uh i don't the big mammal whatever and um at the time i didn't quite know what the word hype meant not literally but i mean i didn't you know, I wasn't like, ah! It was like, okay, Sanit game. All right. And uh, I was following news on it, primarily on Tails channel. And I remember when he uploaded the video about giving it a chance. And uh, that certainly boded well. <laughs> but, um, we, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really get anything after the trailer, did we? Did we? I'm... I'm fairly certain that was all we got, and it was just kind of blank until the release. Well, okay, no, no, that's not true. We we got the we got the um area like the you know the demos at E3 or whatnot. In fact, I remember um was it was it Pro Jared? He he was just railing the game, and uh, the dude that made it what was his name like Forrest Blake, Forrest uh, Frost something Frost something. And he was in the back, he was just like, what the hell, man, what are you doing? He just walked away. I remember, like, I didn't even notice that until I read the comments. I was like, oh, okay. At the point when the game released, because I hadn't seen, it was like, you know, it was a demo, you know, just wait. I, um, at that point, it, I was kind of just running off the basic knowledge that you have when you, you know, you're someone who enjoys Sonic games. And that's, everyone hates Sonic, even his fans, you know. Sonic Black Knight, I like that game. Generations, okay. Unleashed, one of my favorite games. You know, Secret Rings, I like that game too. And you just kind of learn not to follow the media when it comes to Sonic, like I, I just said. But, um, um, onto the actual game itself. It released in November sometime, around there, I believe. And, um, I remember looking up videos on it. And people just going, oh, it's bad, it's bad, oh, it's so bad, ah! And... My reaction was, okay, it's bad. I didn't really have, it was, okay. See, okay, but this is probably my fault on, yeah, the, probably my fault to this. I didn't think there was going to be, you know, such an uproar about it. Like, people going insane, like, Sonic is dead! Oh, Sonic is dead! Ah! Oh! Because it was made by a different company that we didn't know anything about. They had never been affiliated with Sonic and I just put them, I put Sonic Boom in the same position as the CDI games, you know, from Nintendo. Because you didn't see people explode, you know, sending messages of the apocalypse to a Nintendo when those games released. And they were a lot worse, mind you. They were just bad from a design standpoint. Sonic Boom at least had some good ideas, just it did them very, very, very badly. I mean, though, you know, okay, I take that back. The ideas in the game itself weren't good, but the concepts they had, okay, the concepts, I'm spitting everywhere, were good, you know. They even, I mean, they even had the audacity to put the concept art in the credit, in the credits that weren't in the game. Say, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You want people to know you rushed it? It's, 
They didn't even care. There were so, it was it was so bad, so many glitches. But I just I didn't expect people to get up in arms about it because it wasn't made by the people who normally handle Sonic. But maybe again, maybe that was my fault. It maybe the reason why the CDI games didn't explode as much as you know they would have now is because is because because we didn't we didn't have the internet as big as it was now we didn't have the sharing capabilities that we did i mean nowadays just look at it. you can go on twitter and say man fuck this game and hit send and there you're done before there was magazines there were deals lies you know payoffs i suppose but uh it happened and people received it the way it was uh i heard that i again i haven't played i haven't played either of them I mean, I played the demo for the Wii, the Wii U version. You know, I thought, all right, you know, it does what it did. It wasn't anything spectacular, and it wasn't spectacularly horrible either. Even though I've heard people say that the demo actually plays better than the final game. That that sounds familiar to something else. But um, the uh, th I've heard the 3DS version isn't as bad. In fact, the complaint it has, I don't understand that that you have to like you have to collect it's mandatory to collect everything or something and i don't understand because it's like yeah you have to do the mission it's like you don't complain that you have to reach the flagpole at the end of mario or that you have to collect all the jiggies well okay, not all the jiggies you have to collect whatever it is in banjo kazooie you know all the all those games I and mean, maybe i just don't understand it correctly and i can't until i play it but I mean, where does, I've heard that there's two, there's two uh, games coming out for Sonic, from Sonic Team. Wow, my word! Like I'm just, you know what? You know what? I'm, I, I my, you know, is it a bad game? Yes. Can I really tell you that because I haven't played it? No. But can other people really tell you that even though they played it? Not really. You know, you have to judge by yourself. I mean, the general consensus is. If everyone says it's bad, then it's probably, you know, bad. If everyone says it's good, it's probably good. If it's mixed, play it yourself. That's kind of what I go off of. Well, I mean, uh, you know, game, you're going to play I'm going to play it whether or not, but you get my point. Um, that's, you know, uh, so that's my two cents on it, I suppose. Or m maybe lack thereof two cents. Maybe like a quarter cent. Because I'm not very good at forming the words into syllables. The syllables into words. I'm even I'm even messing up the metaphor. But yeah. Hey guys, yeah. <laughs> this video is brought to you by a rumble box. <laughs> yeah, make make sure to get your your rumble grump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Yeah, Rumble Grum. Yeah, yeah.